Oh, hello. Good morning. And welcome into our NRFI video, where it happens. Miracles, dreams, they can all come true. A 3-0 and night means everybody wins. And if you're new to the channel, we appreciate you being with us. Hit that subscribe button. If you would like as well, the thumbs up button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos when they drop in case some idiot goes 3-0 and in his NRFI picks. Now, shout out to the comment section. I know a couple of you were waiting. A couple of you were waiting for the Mets to ruin our perfect night. And it came through. Spencer Strider came through. Look, we're going to have good nights. We're going to have bad nights. We'll have some fun with it when we have good nights. We'll have some fun with it when we have bad nights. I don't like it when we have bad nights. You know, two and one on here, which we were, by the way, heading into Monday on Sunday night. Neither here nor there. Those are bad nights because we want to go perfect. We want a three and no night. So I hope all of you had an opportunity to catch some tickets last night. We sure as hell did here on the show. Let's dive into it. And yes, there is still a risk-free bet opportunity for you at BetMGM. All right, let's start with the Padres Marlins. All right, we're going to go right back to this game. We're going to go to the first inning. And my goodness. Now, if you were paying attention to the written piece, I mean, I just put this out like 15 minutes ago. Holy smokes, did this thing jump up. 35 points. It jumped up. Now, this is the play, and I suggest that you shop the hell out of this bet here. We love BetMGM. We use BetMGM all the time. We give out risk-free bet opportunities, but even BetMGM knows that there are going to be lines, sometimes better, elsewhere. Shop. Odd Shopper is why it exists. Shop. Shop. On the written piece, when we put this out, this was minus 110 on Ben MGM. It has moved significantly. Why? Because Edward Cabrera is on the hill going up against this Padres team that's still trying to find itself. It's like your teenager who graduated high school that's spending a summer is just hiking the Alps looking for themselves. All right. Well, same thing with the Padres. They got all these big moves and they get blanked. Granted, it's the NL Cy Young winner, but. Edward Cabrera has got a pretty high K rate and he can get through the first inning by all means north of 27%. The NRFI play hit last night. So again, there's no reason to think it won't tonight. Granted, Cabrera doesn't have to be Sandy Alcantara to get that. Sean Manai on the other side. Padres, by the way, still second worst in baseball, scoring just 0.23 runs per first inning on the road. Miami's going to do all they can to help Sean Manaya, by the way. Remember, we talked about this yesterday. Miami is second worst also in the sport, but that's home run per first inning average, just 0.29 on the season. So combined, the Padres in this spot on the road, the Marlins at that spot at home, combined, you're not even at 0.6 runs per first inning. This is a struggle. And granted, Sean Manaya doesn't have that rate that we saw with Cabrera, but the Marlins just don't do anything at all to help their opponent when it comes to a decent or even rough pitcher having a stretch there. So that's the first play, Marlins, Padres, NRFI. All right, look, we keep telling you about this risk-free opportunity because there are a lot of you that just aren't taking advantage of it quite yet. Now, maybe you're waiting for the NFL season, college football season, the NBA, NHL, or beyond to actually maybe next year's golf season, what have Maybe you're waiting for that. The problem is that stuff like this just doesn't last that long. Stuff like this, unfortunately, is going to be gone maybe next week. So you keep waiting, you keep waiting. But the reality right now is that we're dealing with the spot here where I can tell you all about a risk-free bet with that link below at BetMGM today on a Tuesday, 8 16 and that promo code. O-S-N-R-F-I. Either way, same spot. The opportunity to sign up at BetMGM. Put up to $1,000 in your account and then bet that up to a K because it's going to be risk-free. It could be gone tomorrow. I, honestly, I don't know. I have no idea. And this is not like, you better click on it now because it's gone tomorrow. Last one we had, I knew there was a finite date and I tried to pump the hell out of it. But I don't know. I mean, I'm a low man on the pole here. So if this sucker gets pulled tomorrow, you probably won't know about it on my video until you don't see that thing there, right? So 
Take advantage of this. It's risk free and you don't need to put a thousand dollars into BetMGM to advance your bankroll, whatever it may be for the fall sports. All right, let's look at our second play here. Mariners at angels. A lot of people may think, whoa, 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 this jumps out as a why are FI play again on the written piece? We had this at minus 110. I like the fact that these written pieces, and this is like 20 minutes in time, maybe 30 minutes total in time, in which you'll see it. My goodness. In fact, the lines may have moved from when I sent over the written piece to when it was published, but now this has moved from minus 110 to minus 150. It is absurd how fast this stuff moves in the morning. You want to get ahead of this. And I even wrote this was the first sentence of the written piece at minus 110. Expect this NRFI number to move as it gets closer to first pitch. So jumping on this earlier in the day is key here. I played it at minus 110 because that was ahead of the global market. That was, in fact, the best opportunity to get ahead. We just grinded the line out. That's all it was. We had a decent percentage ahead of that book. You know everybody goes to in the global market to make sure that there was some value. Minus 110, there was a ton of value. There really was. All right, let's flip this here on the on the video only because I think we can take advantage of, yes, there will be a run from the analysis and the fact that this has moved over now to our side. Look, I'm not playing minus 150 NRFI. You can shop the hell out of that. Minus 145 for the Padres. Marlins still doable because I don't ref think that reflects truly how easy it will be for both teams to cruise through the first. This is a little shakier. And Jose Suarez is the main culprit, right? Robbie Ray, high enough K rate. He can get through the Angels lineup. The one problem that I think he does have is if he's not striking people out, he's going to put somebody on the base. And that's the issue that I think Seattle can now take advantage of. So there's a pathway. There's a pretty decent, or LA, pardon me. There's a pretty decent pathway here for the Angels lineup, especially top part of that lineup with, you know, kind of lurking to take advantage of a guy who, if he's not lights out striking you out, is going to give up a walk, is going to give up a hard hit ball or two, and that can help the Angels' favorite. Look, Jose Suarez is going to do everything to help the Mariners, and he's basically dealing with that similar situation Robbie Ray is minus the high K rate. He doesn't have that 27% north of that K rate to get out of jams like Ray has. So earlier, the analysis was leaning towards a yes run first inning. The number just, hey, we have to play it because it's beating the global market was an NRFI play. Now I look at this fresh and think, yeah, we're not getting the worst of it by any means because it was minus 110, minus 110. The VIG is always going to be reflection of where things are. So on these markets, they're always going to be high. We accept that as far as the bets that we make. But at plus 115, this analysis now fuels, I think, a stronger play for some good plus money. And that's really where we want to target more so than anything else. All right, last play here for you. And this is also a yes run first inning play. And earlier in the day, I'm, I'm curious to see if this is now moved for our video. Yes, it has. My goodness. I mean, we got ahead of this stuff early in the day on the written piece. And that's all I can tell you is to go to oddshopper.com, look at the expert analysis. You'll see articles, click on the articles, and you'll see this up there first before this video. So you can really, I mean, look, this was at plus 100. In fact, it's the title of the article. Plus money, Boston Red Sox versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Boston is a machine on the road. Seventh best in baseball, 0.54 runs per first inning away from Fenway. Mitch Keller, one for one whip. I'm sorry, pal. RIP the first for you. Pittsburgh is dead last with a home RPFI run per first inning average of just 0.25. But what the hell's happened with Nick Pavetta? Nine straight road starts of not giving up a run in the first inning. Now two straight giving up. It's hard to ignore that. It's not two of his last 11. It's two straight after nine straight scoreless. So yeah, reluctantly, we'll have to play this up to 140. Yes, minus 135. Again, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything and, and make sure you're taking advantage of where these lines are because my goodness, they move left and right. Thanks for hanging with us. You know the drill, please, if you haven't already. Look, I ask because it helps us. You're here. You're part of the community. You're leaving comments. We love the comments. Good, bad, ugly. You don't know what you're talking about, Shander. I'll be back in about an hour to let you know that. Whatever it may be, 
We love them. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe so you're part of this community, not just a sprinkle or two. Not that guerrilla warfare of just, you know, sprinkling a comment and bouncing. Be part of the community, right? We want you part of this community. And that's why we give you this BetMGM risk-free opportunity. Click the link below. Sign up. OSNRFI. Either way, it's going to take you to the same spot. And either way, you're going to have an opportunity to deposit up to $1,000 that that first bet will be risk-free. Again, that's why it's up to $1,000, not only thousand dollars you want to put 200 bucks in go ahead take your winnings last night maybe you put 10 bucks in a three leg parlay and you walked away happy with our three and oh night put that in there it doesn't have to be a thousand dollars whatever you want all you know is that you keep following this channel you're going to keep cashing some tickets